Can you tell me how to put a Kenmore Series 600 heat washer into diagnostic mode? Can you guesstimate how old your Kenmore is? And just to clarify, what's the exact model? Where can I find the model number? Do you plan on doing the work yourself? It has a new control board. Just need to run diagnostic to get it set up. Anything else we should know to help you best? Where can I find the model number on the unit? Hello from Just Answer in the Appliance category. I'm sorry to hear that you're having issues. My name is Woody. I will be glad to assist you today. I have been servicing all major brands of appliances for 37 years. I own my own appliance repair company and I teach appliance repair at a local community college. I have over 100,000 plus in home repairs and over 80,000 internet repairs under my belt. You will be paying me for my answer to your appliance question, not for the repair of your appliance hence the name of this site just answer. I will do my best to take the information that you provide to me and make a diagnosis for you to be able to repair your own appliance. Can I please have the full model number of the unit to better assist you? Open the washer door the model slash serial tag is on the interface frame. Mod 110.26132410, SAIR C6077524. Thank you. Give me a minute or two to pull up information on this model. Activating Service Diagnostic Mode 1. Be sure the washer is in standby mode, plugged in with all indicators off. 2. Select any three, three, buttons, except power, and follow the steps below. Using the same buttons, remember the buttons and the order that the buttons were pressed, within 8 seconds. Press and release the first selected button. Press and release the second selected button. Press and release the third selected button. Repeat this three button sequence two more times. 3. If this test mode has been entered successfully, all indicators on the console will be illuminated for 5 seconds with 888 showing in the three-digit display and a tone will sound. If there are no saved fault codes, the seven-segment display will come back on and display 888. Upon entry to service diagnostic mode, all cycles and options reset to factory default. Note, the service diagnostic mode will time out after 10 minutes of user inactivity, or shut down if AC power is removed from the washer. The washer does not need to be run through a diagnostics after the control board is replaced. Are you still having issues after you replace the control board? Nothing happened except the face near the start button gets hot. What is the part number that you installed on the unit? W1812699 the Sears technician said that was the part it needed. That is the correct control board. And you had the same issue with the old control board also? And are you able to power the unit on and select different cycles or options? Or is it just dead and hot near the start button? It powers on, all the blue lights on the heat level light up, but it doesn't do anything else. Oh, but the power button doesn't work, no. That's the result of just plugging it in. Okay so you have lights on on the console, but when you press the power button nothing happens? Correct. In a matter of a minute or so, the area on the console around the start button gets hot. I do not think you have a control board issue. I think you have a keypad membrane switch issue. And if you have the same issue with the old and new control board we know it is not the control board. How old is this unit? 
Checking that now. Stupid Sears Tech Is that a part that can be replaced or did I just buy a complete piece of junk? Less than two years. Wow. I asked because the overlay, membrane is over four hundred twenty-five dollars. Thirty-eight semicolon carat and carat dollar percent hash. Whom did you purchase the control board from? Whirlpool Corp is the name on the box. If it was Sear, they will not take the part back. Very few companies will take parts back, especially electrical parts. Yes, Whirlpool manufactured the washer. But whom did you buy the control board from? Sears Parts Direct. Frown. Put the old board back in and it doesn't light up at all. Okay, yay, they will not take the part back. Would you like the part info on the membrane? The company I recommend does take parts returns. Please. The link below is to the part you will need from a highly recommended company rated A plus with the Better Business Bureau. They offer a 100% money back guarantee, even on installed electrical parts, for an entire year. They are the only company to allow returns on installed parts for a refund and offer a full one year warranty. HTTPS colon slash www.repairclinic.com slash part detail slash overlay slash w1064391 slash 4280885 question mark recade equals 1000070 if you have any questions just reply back to me. Do you have a part number? Oh. Never mind, clicked on the link. That's no problem if you need me again for any other issues you can request me WHRLP Master Tech. And even after you rate me today if you have a question just reply back to me, I will still assist you, no extra charges. But rating me is the only way I get paid for my time. Thank you. Last thing, is there a handy dandy YouTube video for how to install this bad boy? Let me look for you. This is not the exact same number but it is the same part. https colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch v equals p dot d 3 is prof date. And you're awesome. Thank you. This is not the exact same number but it is the same part. HTTPS colon slash www.youtube.com slash watch V equals A underscore Ains 4 was 8 Disregard the first video. Thank you in advance. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.